Thank you very much to Ilham for um, making this event possible. And uh, as um, Rebecca has pointed out, we have six poets today. They have one thing in common. None of them were born in KL. <laughs> and that's what they have in common. And the exhibition that is going on at the moment is the idea of fractured worlds and fi frictions and fictions. And uh, so Rahel and I were talking about um, this because I told her how I had been to a Georgetown festival, literary festival last year, and I'd seen the work of some remarkable poets and I met some people for the first time and I said, I hope there are more platforms to hear the work of some of these poets. And um, I also went for to the um, Migrant and Refugee Festival and saw more poets. And I said, wow, I really didn't know that there were so many poets living in Malaysia. And I felt it's good to share and give more platforms to hear these voices and hear voices of people speaking in all kinds of languages from English to Malay to Arabic to Urdu. And so we have um, that opportunity for all of us today. So one of the people I met um, last year was my friend Mofak, now I can call him my friend. <laughs> um, and he's the first poet who will be reading for us today. He will start off the afternoon and then he will also end the afternoon. And um, the reason for this is because actually I worked very closely with him to make this event possible, or rather he, he made this event possible by inviting um, some of his friends or people he had met whose poetry he enjoyed and um, that's why we have the poets that we have today. I won't introduce all to you right now. I'll talk a little bit about them later on, but I'll just talk a little bit about Mafa. Um, I saw him, as I said, at the Georgetown Festival. He was the winner of the, 19, of the 2017 Migrant and Refugee Poetry Competition. He is, in fact, an engineer by training, and he now works in Malaysia as an educator um, and will be um, publishing his book of poetry called Poetic Entropy by the end of the year where he marries his love of science with his love of poetry. So I'm very happy to be introducing him to some of you today. Some of you already know him for a long time. And I was also very lucky to be able to invite him to perform in a play uh, by my theatre company. Um, and he performed Blank by Nassim Solamanpour. So some of you may be familiar with him uh, um, from that production. So that's all I want to say about Mofa, but to come up and um, share his poetry with us. Thank you so much. Okay. Hi. So Joe made it very difficult to me. I'm very honored and blessed, and I just want to say thank you to everyone who um, came today. Um, it, it's 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 always amazing how poetry can be understood and transferred from a language to another and from a heart to another and from, from a person to another easily. Uh, and it's, it's the time that language is not the main matter. Um, what matters is the person behind the poetry itself. So uh, I was asked by, by Joe to, uh, to, to choose poets that I feel that we can work together and we can do something together. And five poets, four of them were chosen by me and I, I felt like I, uh, I just didn't help to, to invite those powerful poets who each of them has a very significant, very interesting uh, narrative. Each of them is trying, in a way, always to express the limitations of their lives in a very open space that is poetry. Each of them has his own style of poetry that you cannot tell that those poets, six poets, are from the same group. There's nothing in common between us but poetry. I think there might be more, but the, the, the main thing is poetry. I don't want to uh, talk much, uh, but um, I'm, I'm going to read. Uh, I mainly write in Arabic, so I'm going to read a few poems in English, short ones, and then I'll read in Arabic with a translation. And my name is Muwaffa. And that means M W A F F 
a Q. It's not a modern Arabic name. My father wanted to celebrate his father's name by using it again. And that's a culture in Syria, which I find silly. The first letter of my name is M, M for moon, M for melody, and the F in it is an emphasizing of fragility. My name can be broken easily. I never hated my name, but didn't like it too. My grandfather is alive, so we share the name. I still do not own my own name. I neglected the last Q in my name, which is Qaf in Arabic. This letter was used as a symbol of force in Arabic physics. And I hate force, the force that destroys stability of masses. In English too, the Q at the end of my name causes embarrassment. My name can also be a joke. Mwafa means good luck. And people used to say Mwafa Mwafa, which means good luck Mwafa. And that is an internal joke for me in Arabic. My name means good luck. I don't own it yet, and I'm searching for it. One, loneliness. My bed is vast. My bed is a desert. I am a cactus. I sleep on the right side. A lizard on the wall, watching me, touching myself. Me, the cactus. When it rains, I observe. When it rains, I observe every drop of your sweat. I, who never found you, I write like a lonely cactus in a vast desert to please the void in my bed and a lizard on the wall. Two, desire. Then you will have a quenchless desire to write how tomorrow has already happened somewhere beyond your sight. Then you will have a quenchless desire to sleep above your fears and to embrace your agony, for it is the path towards tomorrow. <laughs> then you will have a quenchless desire to draw a sun, two mountains, and a house on every paper. Then you will have a quenchless desire to rescue a drowning poem by translating it to another language. The poem dies. So does your desire. Three, loss. And every time I lose a friend, I see myself clearer in the mirror, a fraction over another. Every time I lose the way, I see my destination clearer in the horizon. Every time I lose myself, I see you all plain and obvious. Every time I lose control. I see my fears. I collect my tears, for this will be my tomorrow's cheers. Every time I lose my senses, my weight, my sight, I 
I see myself a floating piece of seaweed in a rivulet of poetry. Now I'll read a poem in Arabic. And honestly, I was quite excited when I came to Malaysia about having a mailbox because um, our mailbox system in Syria is not functioning for a long time. And I always had this fantasy in mind about how I will receive books from friends, gifts, buy things online and find it there. But all I got was bills, water, water bills, electricity bills. My uh, mailbox is so neglected to the extent that you can find bills since uh, 2010. And the fantasy of the mailman, especially if, you, if you've ever watched the movie called El Postino, or The Postman, which is a, a movie that talks about a relationship between uh, Pablo Neruda and a postman, and how this postman was fond of poetry because of Pablo Neruda. So I always had this uh, fantasy in mind. Uh, and I always wanted to write about this, write about the mailman and the mailbox and all this. Uh, on the other side, I'm an uh, agnostic person, an unbeliever, uh, maybe. Uh, one thing, though, uh, that I believe in with no doubts uh, is the conservation law of energy. Uh, <laughs> so I write and I wait. I wait. I always expect that I give, there should be a, it's, low, it's energy, it's chemistry, it's... Uh, so here is the conservation law of ballots. قانون حفظ الأغنيات ساعي بريد مدينتي أعني مدينة غربتي فمدينتي صارت لغيري والمدائن طبعها التجديف في نهر البشر تمشي كقارب مزهة في العمر لا تهتم للموتى وللشهداء ولا تهتم للحزن الذي يتلوه شعر الراحلين هي هكذا كل المدائن تحضن الناجين ساعي بريد مدينتي أعني مدينة غربتي شخص غريب الطبع يعرف أنني رجل وحيد وأنام بعد الفجر وكذا أحب الشعر لكنه ما زال يسألني أما أحببت سيدة أجيب ومن يحب التائهين التائها تخرج من الشباك وانظر سيدي العاشقون يخططون الأرصفة ويعلمون الشعر للفقراء وأنت تكتب كل يوم دون جدوى هل فهمت القصد والمضمون والفحوى وبأي حال هل لديك رسائل للأهل أرسلها ضحكت قلت لا 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 شيء يذكر لا شيء يذكر هل كتبت قصيدة أخرى ضحكت وقلت لا 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 لست أملك طابعا أو وجهة كي أرسل المعنى إلى أهلي ولكني كتبت عن البلاد وعن تفاصيل التحرر من أساطير العشيرة غير أني لم أزل أحتاج بعض الوقت كي حتى أنتهي من لفظ كل الموت من جوفي ومن لصق الصور أحتاج أيضا أن أوازن بين أطراف القصيدة فالمعادلة التي لا تنحني للعلم لست أريدها قانون حفظ الطاقة المعروف أو قانون حفظ الأغنيات المدخلات المدخلات بكاء قلبي لحظة الصمت الطويلة والشرود والمخرجات تأثر الأشجار صوت الماء في الأحداق دهشة بائع اللحظات أو بطريقة أخرى عنب 
عنب بعقل الشاعر المضنى وخمر في قلوب السامعين لا لا أفهم الكيمياء لكني أحب كلامك العلمية لا أدري أحس كأن موسيقى ستنبع من جدار البيت أو سيضيء شلال من الكلمات قربي أو ستدخل غيمة من ذلك الشباك وأصير أكثر رغبة بالحزن حين أراك وعلى العموم على العموم إلى اللقاء اكتب لي نفسك اكتب لنفسك أو لغيرك سيدي سأجوب أطراف المدينة لا عليك احذر من الكلمات في بطن الرسائل ساعي بريد مدينتي أعني مدينة غربتي شخص غريب الطبع يعرف أنني رجل وحيد ويظل يسألني الكتابة مرغما ويقول ضع ما شئت أن تنسى بصندوق البريد Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mafa. And also about the origin of your name, <laughs> or the meaning of your name. Um, the next poet I'd like to invite up is um, Abdul Salam, who is a poet and also a photographer. Uh, he's been living in Kale for the last six years and has been writing his poetry since he started writing poetry in 10th grade, uh, always in English. So please uh, put your hands together and welcome Abdul Salam. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm not going to talk much, but I want to thank Joe and Ilham Gallery for making this uh, a dream come true for me. I've always dreamt about performing in this place, and the fact that I live just 10 minutes away uh, is, is, just, is just a dream come true to me, so I want to thank you. <coughs> I will recite three poems today. Um, I will recite three poems today, and I found out by coincidence that all three poems have one thing in common, which is time. Um, the first poem is about the relationship between the past, the present, and the future, and it's called In Between. A silent volcano bursts open in my head melting it down to its knees. Tears of sweat start running down from the palms of my hands every time I hold my pen, dissolving every word I write, every thought, every image, every rhyme. At night, my eyes become crystal balls in reverse, and I try hard to forget the future or to re-foresee the past. وانت عبد السلام شو حابب تطلع بس تكبر؟ And you Abdul Salam, what do you want to be when you grow up? The teacher asked me in the fifth grade. I, I want to be the shell of a turtle that is light enough to be carried away by waves. I want to be a wave that is small enough to be broken by a stone and that's big enough to break a mountain. I want to be a candle that is bright enough to lighten up an entire city of hearts and strong enough to embrace the shadows of their minds. Or maybe a tree. I want to be a tree in the middle of the desert that is old enough to tell the sky the story of mankind. The birds in my stomach are trying to break free. My hair grew older than myself and became the grown-up part of me. My face no longer recognize itself. My feet are lost somewhere between the dust of my memories and the air in my lungs. Between the past and the future, nothing is real but this very moment and the voice of my mother when I was in the fifth grade. Son, the world is your ocean. And boats sail wherever they wish to sail, no matter how strong is the wind, no matter how big is the ocean. 
And now, after 15 years, I ask my mom, will you please show me how boats sail on land? Thank you. <clears throat> the second poem is a, is a poem I wrote recently, and it's still a work in progress. So um, I'm a slow writer. I take a really long time to write a poem. So I hope you like it. It's called Requited Love. The night pours. The rain stands still. A blanket of silence spreading over us. The lights are tired of shining. Sometimes I think I've been through it all, and sometimes I feel like I'm two days old. You and I are lying down. You are trying to fall asleep. I am staring at the ceiling. You ask me if everything is okay. I turn my head and look at you, your eyes half shut, half filled with love, staring back at me as if they are a lifeboat, as if they are saying you are safe here with me. You tell me it's gonna be okay. Pray to God and ask him to move the mountain of your chest in the clouds of your head. Ask him and he will show you how flowers blossoms in the shade, how butterflies are born out of rubbles and how bird's feather ignites a storm. For things are destined to change, nothing is forever. You tell me I love you more than anything I've ever loved, more than my shoes cabinet, my favorite red dress or my little basil plant. I say, did you know I love watching you when you're asleep? Did you know that your heart broke into mine, tied its hands and tortured it under the moon, and I felt home? I say, you are beautiful, the way your hair gets into my mouth, the way your hands kiss my lips. You are beautiful, like a temple hanging in the sky, like a room filled with poetry books. You are beautiful, like a kid seeing the sea for the first time, like a field of lavender somewhere between France and Switzerland. You are beautiful, like a protest in the heart of Damascus. You are beautiful, like a window in a small room in a huge condominium overlooking the ruins of Palmyra. You and I are lying down, you are still trying to fall asleep. You tell me, this is not my first time. I've been through many conflicts. And you tell me about all your glories and victories and how you are so proud of your past. And then you ask me, have you ever loved another city like me? I turn my head and stare at the ceiling and tuck myself in a blanket of silence. Thank you. The third poem is called, uh, it's called Time, and it's in the voice of a refugee kid. You're a big boy now, my mama always tells me. I still remember that night. It was spring, the first time I watched fireworks. The sky was flashing, the streets were whistling, and the lights were dark. I imagined it as a party, except no one was dancing. You're a big boy now, my mama always tells me. But what she really means is, she no longer needs to read me bedtime stories before I go to bed. She no longer needs to prepare me breakfast, iron my clothes, or tie my shoelaces. She no longer needs to kiss me goodbye before I go to school, or pick me up from the bus when I reach home. I'm a big boy now. Can't you see? I may not know a lot of things other big boys know, like work, sex, and politics, but I know what time really is. My mama tells me that he is a magician, the greatest of them all. His tricks are very real and impossible to reveal. She tells me, that now is his favorite trick. He plays it all the time, over and over again, and that nobody can ever reveal his secrets. 
Like how he turns morning flowers into giant crows. How he turns springs into thunderstorms. How he changes the color of the sky over and over again. How he turns homes into landmines and cities into landfills of memories. How he paints my father's face in my head over and over again so that I don't forget his voice. How he hides my school, my friends, and even my toys in his small pocket. Or how he changes the sound of fireworks over and over again and how he sometimes turns them into falling stars. You're a big boy now and big boys don't believe in miracles, my mama tells me. But I know they exist somewhere back in our home when the fireworks came through the roof and hit the dining table next to us. Out there in the ocean when it swallowed us and spitted us back to the shore, up in the sky when the birds carried us to our new home. Here. You're a big boy now, my mama always tells me. And I still remember that night. It was spring. The last time I watched my dad's lips on my mama's forehead. I may not know a lot of things other big boys know, but I know that time is a magician. And I know that he will always be playing his tricks over and over again. Thank you. Thank you so much for your very moving poetry. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the next poet I'd like to invite is Masuba Takavoli. She's from Afghanistan and she's been living in Malaysia for the last six years. Um, a refugee um, with the UN UNHCR. She's also published a book this year <laughs> called Life Under the Taliban. Um, and her poems are filled with images of um, and desire for justice, equality, love, freedom. Um, I'm really pleased to invite Masuma to read her poetry. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, my first uh, name's poem is uh, uh, Hope. Kasi ra mi shenasi khande bi dard befroshat mian kabus kucho. انتحار و بمبشلی که گلوله به یک بیمار افسرده روانی شاد بفروشد کسی را میشناسی مهر مادری بفروشد میان گریه های کودک جامانده از جنگ کمی آقوش امن و خواب آسوده بفروشد کسی را می شناسی صلح جای جنگ بفروشد میان کشته های بیگناه بی سر و تن به آن معلول جنگی عضوی از بدن بفروشد کسی را می شناسی گل دوستی بفروشد به آن درمانده آواره بی سرپناه در شب تاریک و طوفانی کمی محتاب بفروشد کسی را می شناسی کمی مرهم بفروشد به بالهای پرخون کبوترهای سرگردان به جای تیر و کمان معمن و دانه بفروشد کسی را می شناسی حق زندگی بفروشد به جای ساخت هفتی رو مسلسل ها و خمپاره جهانی آری از خودخواهی و نفرت و کینه بفروشد گلویم سخت خشکیده خریدار کمی آبم میان ترس و تنهایی میان گریه و زاری کسی را می شناسی امید جای آب بفروشد And my second, uh, and my second uh, name's poem. Uh, my second uh, name's poem is uh, uh, I and uh, you. Manu yek dard, tovo yek dark, mawo raksa 
قاصدک من و یک خار تو و یک گل ما و یک نقمه بلبل من و یک قلب تو و یک عشق ما و یک دنیا بهشت من و یک نی تو و یک لب ما و یک مستی و تب من و یک پر تو و یک بال ما و یک اوج محال من و نقاش تو و رنگ پاش ما و یک مداد تراش من و یک نور تو و باران ما و یک رنگین کمان من و بیدین تو و یک دین ما و یک اشقافرین من و مهمان تو و میزبان ما و یک سفره احسان من و آواز تو و ساز ما و یک راز و نیاز من و یک غم تو و یک عشق ما و یک قلب مشترک من و یک تن تو و یک دم من و تو همدم هم من و آتش تو و تاب من و تو فولاد ناب من و گرما تو و سرما ما و قانون بقا من و گریه تو پناه من و تو تابش ماه من و نجوا تو و دریا ما و لبخند خدا من و نجوا تو و دریا ما و لبخند خدا Thank you. And now I'd like to invite Jack Malek onto the stage. Uh, Jack is from uh, Ipo, and he'll be reading his poetry in English and uh, Malay. And he's part of a collective at Ipo called Project Rabak. And his collection of poetry will be published this year. It's already published this year uh, called Wannabe Sasao. Okay, Jack Malek, everyone. Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon everyone thank you uh, thank you for having me uh, I would like to give a short acknowledgement uh, for Pauline Fan uh, she recommended me to Rahel and Joe she couldn't be here because she is attending um, uh, Singapore Writers Festival but uh, she'll be in spirit and so thank you Pauline also thank you Rahel thank you Joe for having me so um, I'll be performing three poems if if uh, the time permits the first poem is in Malay so if you don't understand I, I haven't had the translation yet but so if you don't understand uh, let's have a dialogue after this um, it's a very close poem to me because I am from Ipo, born and bred. Uh, however, my parents are from Klantanis, East Coast. And this poem I would like to dedicate to the late uh, Rosli Sham Ismail, uh, or we know as Ise. If you have the time, please, the artwork is just uh, behind this part. So this poem is for him. Because he made me realize that one's root is important. So this poem is called, basically, I don't know how to cook nasi krabu, uh, sotong sumbat, and candied pumpkin. So after Rosli, Sam, Rosli Sham Isi, Mari serbu diri bulu rama jejak angin angin dewa muda. Sir, sir. 
Aku kenal rasa molek tu lagu mana? Seperti telang hari pecah di mulut langit dan gulai siang mewangi terang semerbaknya keemasan kecur rona roni kehidupan. Aku pun dah lama tak petah berledah angin dewa muda bertabik asa dengan sebab kerana berbagi usu Mereboh tabuh bertitik pada titik galuh susu Jemerok diri alik ipuh dengan alik kelatek dengan alik kolupum ni di ambo untuk faham Kedua-dua jejak dan pijak adalah wayang bermain di balik kelir kadak dan kadar dengan kadar kemampuan masing-masing Bertapak menjalani hidup ini seadanya Dan ramai di antara kita menjalaninya bersama kamu dan semalam pagi lumpuh Seolah tengkujuh tak pernah reda menghujani Lalu air bah pun naik sehingga ada sesal Tersengkang di tengkorok kami Dan mata kami belum kering Dan bibir kami belum kering Dan hati kami masih berdering Tak ada dressing yang lebih bising daripada senyap perpisahan Tapi untuk meratap kita kena bercakap Sebab bila bercakap Manis kenangan kan tersingkap jadi Aku tak nak sembang pasal seni atau puisi lagi Jom kita borak Pasal nasi kerabu Sotong sumbat Dan sirah labu Thank you So uh, Rest in peace Ise um, God bless So the next poem um, Is Called post chorus. Uh, I was reading some something, uh, some articles on beat generation. And I was inspired from it. So, chorus is how Jack Kerouac uses, uh, you know, write poetry, and he names his poems chorus. So, this was a homage to Jack Kerouac. So, this poem is called post chorus one. Post beat sensibility with Nusantara anxiety, West Coast roots and East Coast heritage, a mixed state of place and space transcending legacy. Claiming isn't important as showing is surgeon and telling should all be about sharing while seeing and hearing and feeling. The concept of being is in the suffix, throw it out and it is what it is. The universe in a grain of wind, in a drop of flame, in a burst of earth, in a breath of water, divine darkness, blessed light. Great space, glorious time, the oral perception of silences and oral inception of letters that the latter brings action from feelings and intuition, making the former ripens into fruition that everything is nothing and nothing can be seen and heard as sounds on papers, words on stages, temporality, madness meets spatial dervishes, spitting lines, burning mirth and frankincense, creating rings of sacred geometry, welcoming, 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 ta'al, kemari, come. Come into this, come into and come on here in this confluence of unmeaning This meeting of making and making and remaking This convergence of inconclusive harmony, golden memories And the loveliest lies of all While having faith inclusive enough for voices to be seen And forms to be heard Logos of re, alif, qaf, alif, ra means to see movement Ethos of be, so it be, kaf Wow, noon means to hear identity A poem means more of a question rather than answers A poem means more of a journey rather than destination A poem means going, arriving and returning all happening at once I am going but I do not know where Arriving yet not knowing when Returning though I'm still figuring how Don't ask me why Ask me anything But an answer And I I will give you all of my poetry Holy Malaya, Holy Americana, Holy Rabak, Holy Saja, Holy Art Gallery, Holy Audiences, Holy Unholy, 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 and Holy I'm done, just, I'm not done, I'm not done just yet and I don't mind keep on going without, answer, without answering What does it mean? Where are you heading? Why are you doing this? Because I don't mind doing things just for the fun of it Thank you. Okay, uh, again, thank you everyone. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Rahel. One more poem. Uh, if you're interested, we can have a dialogue after this. And uh, Muafak, 
uh, and Amal and myself will be performing at GTLF this November. So see you soon. <laughs> so this poem, uh, the next, the last poem is called Post Sasau. As you know, um, my my first collection of poetry is called Wannabe Sasau. Sasau means madness. So this uh, this is a piece that I write uh, that I wrote after my book uh, because my book was supposedly to be published in 2016. So it's an old work. Yeah, we can borak borak about that later. So without uh, wasting time, this is post Sasau. Um, yeah. Streaming rhymes into making by uploading space and downloading time and making the spread of signs that were televising and politicizing didactic rhetorics rewind with polemic sermons designed to bore by arguing just for the sake of sickness, so being precise instead. Entice metaphors by exercising lines and throw away lies by catching truths. Fought from the many winds that rises and how Lean on, beam up, give in on dreaming about temporal reality Awaking the spatial imagination of creative planes and poetic fields Wake up or sleep down, get up and take down, light up your love down Choice is for real, life is for real, intention is for real Intellectual pleasure, physical excitement, the experiential and intuitional are for real real Cause for realness of real is to feel and the will is to seal So they find chill cats surround Graphic hipsters, mystic slackers, lyrics weavers are the cools of cool beans, like how they be dealing with teal sky, pink earth. Mint ocean, selling all over Malayan sensibility, blending freely with local secretness on canvases of heavenly nothing along the divine everything that ciphers, spinning rings of lines circling the geometry of sensation and the geography of void, visualizing, vocalizing, verbalizing the four V by vortexing movements, break, breaking both glass floors, wooden ceilings with sword pens that pesticizing. Pastishing, oh lord, sounding more like contemporary, yes lord, derived from frenzied dervishes of feverish gigs by sharing cultures, mixing appropriation and switching affiliation, reiterating different chords with inspiration as real as true squad, pull up and push down, speak up or silent down, blow up yet yeah, draw down, moderate revolutions and radical evolutions are experimentation of tradition in expecting newer heritage to energize legacies and revitalize collective memories reminding to live and let live let and live live and live live let live let and live live let let and and live let live let live and live and keep on living and living on keep and on keep on living and good conscience is blowing the mind with heart languaging fine speeches secret gibberish and secret blabbering body and soul stretching unmeaning de with definition of indefinement that's full of meaning like cool beans cool beans cool beans of love cool beans of light cool beans of infinite life and end beyond end that's really real cool coolio coolness cooling coolology coolism cool beans that is beautiful poetry and poetry beautiful that is cool beans of never an answer but always a question of cool beans repeating still looping keep on sampling going on and on and on and on streaming about ramblings of nothing and everything all at once with obscure clarity and clear obscurity reminding that a poem is less to do with what and more to do with why and how Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Hello, Ahmed. Are you ready to read? Can you read next? Great, wonderful. Okay, so our next poet is uh, Shamshad Ahmad Chaudhry from Pakistan. Uh, he did his MA in journalism and worked as a journalist in Pakistan for many years in his home country. Uh, but he's been living in Malaysia since 2016 as a refugee. Um, he wrote his first poem in 1989 and won the first prize at the Migrant and Refugees Poetry Competition in Malaysia in 2018. I'm very honored to introduce to you, Shamshad. Hello, everyone. I perform my all poems in my national language, Urdu. Can you see it translate on screen?
my father. My first poem title is uh, Someone Should Be There. Koi to hota. Koi to hota. Koi to hota. Jo hijr lamhon ki lambi raaton mein hum safar ban ke saath chalta. Jo hijr lamhon ki lambi raaton mein hum safar ban ke saath chalta. शिकस्ता पाऊं के जर्द छालों पे रहम खाता जो जख्मी दिल की अजाब धड़कन को नरम होंठों की गर्म सांसों से राम करता कोई तो होता कोई तो होता जो आसमां मेरे सर से साए को छीन लेता जमीन कदमों को छोड़ देती जमाना मुझसे मुंह मोड़ लेता तो मेरे सर पे अपनी आंचल का साया करता زمین سے رشتہ وہ جوڑ دیتا وہ مجھ کو جینے کے ڈھن سکھاتا کوئی تو ہوتا کوئی تو ہوتا حیات منزل کی تلخ راہوں پہ چلتے چلتے حیات منزل کی تلخ راہوں پہ چلتے چلتے میں ڈگ مگاتا میں کھا کے ٹھوکر جو گرنے لگتا تو اپنی باہوں میں تھام لیتا جو صرف میرا ہی نام لیتا کوئی تو ہوتا کوئی تو ہوتا مائی سیکنڈ پوئیم ٹائٹل ایزا آئیز بکم ویٹ آنکھیں بھیگ جاتی ہیں تم جب یاد آتے ہو تو آنکھیں بھیگ جاتی ہیں گزرے پل یاد آتے ہیں تو آنکھیں بھیگ جاتی ہیں تم جب یاد آتے ہو تو آنکھیں بھیگ جاتی ہیں گزرے پل یاد آتے ہیں تو آنکھیں بھیگ جاتی ہیں تیری وہ شوخ چنچل آدائیں اور وہ تیرا تبسم وہ لہجہ یاد آتا ہے تو آنکھیں بھیگ جاتی ہیں تیرا وہ شرمانا سمٹ جانا وہ بل کھانا تیرا وہ شرمانا سمٹ جانا وہ بل کھانا وہ ادائیں یاد آتی ہیں تو آنکھیں بھیگ جاتی ہیں میرے خوابوں خیالوں میں ایک تیرا ہی چہرہ تھا میرے خوابوں خیالوں میں ایک تیرا ہی چہرہ تھا وہ خواب یاد آتے ہیں تو آنکھیں بھیگ جاتی ہیں وہ خواب یاد آتے ہیں تو آنکھیں بھیگ جاتی ہیں میرے خوابوں خیالوں میں ایک تیرا ہی چہرہ تھا وہ خواب یاد آتے ہیں تو آنکھیں بھیگ جاتی ہیں تمہیں جب یاد کرتا ہوں تو آنکھیں بھیگ جاتی ہیں کبھی تو مجھ میں تھا اور میں تم میں تھا کبھی تو مجھ میں تھا اور میں تم میں تھا تمہیں اب محسوس کرتا ہوں تو آنکھیں بھیگ جاتی ہیں تیرا نام لینے کی اجازت چھن گئی جب سے تیرا نام لینے کی اجازت چھن گئی جب سے لفظ کوئی بھی لکھتا ہوں تو آنکھیں بھیگ جاتی ہیں تیرا یوں مجھ سے ملنا اور پھر بچھڑ جانا تیرا یوں مجھ سے ملنا اور پھر بچھڑ جانا وہ لمحہ یاد آتا ہے تو آنکھیں بھیگ جاتی ہیں تمہیں جب یاد کرتا ہوں تو آنکھیں بھیگ جاتی ہیں Last poem, title is uh, The Consents Didn't Sell. Mere Ahbaab kehte hain Tumhari umr hi kya hai 
मेरे अहबाब कहते हैं तुम्हारी उम्र ही क्या है तुम्हें किस बात का गम है तुम्हारी सारी तहरीरें बला का दर्द रखती हैं सभी अशार में रक्सा हकीकत ही हकीकत है बजा है मान लेते हैं मगर इस जमाने में मजामीन और भी तो हैं बजा है मान लेते हैं मगर इस जमाने में मजामीन और भी तो हैं कभी तो जुल्फ जाना पर दिखा जोहर कलम के तू कभी तो मरमरी बाहें कभी तो हिजर किया है फराको वसल की राहों के बारे में भी तो कुछ लिखो मैं सबकी बात सुनता हूं ख्याल आता है ये दिल में मैं सबकी बात सुनता हूं ख्याल आता है ये दिल में कोई शायर कोई नाफिज मुझको इतना बतलाए जहां हर सू धमाके हो घरों में रोज फाके हो कोई मस्जिद कोई मंदिर कोई गिरजा जहां पे रोज जलता हो सड़क पे चलते बंदे को जलाया जाता हो जिंदा जहां लाशों का हो धंधा दरिंदे दन दन आते हो हाकिम कहर ढाते हो बिना सोचे बिना समझे बिना तहकीक के मुझ पर कोई फतवे लगाता हो कोई आंखें दिखाता हो बताओ बताओ ऐसे आलम में मैं कैसे जुल्फे जाना पर कोई तहरीर लिख डालू नई खीर लिख डालू बताओ ऐसे आलम में मैं कैसे जुल्फे जाना पर कोई तहरीर लिख डालू नई खीर लिख डालू कोई मेरा हम नवाज शायर इस कमी को पूरा कर देगा मगर मुझको तो सदियों से सोए हुए इन मुर्दों को जगाना है इन सब को यह बताना है खुदारा जाग जाओ तुम खुदारा जाग जाओ तुम नई नस्लें बचा लो तुम वगरना फिर वही होगा जो पहले होता आया है हमें ये फर्ज निभाना है हमें ये कस झुकाना है खुदा पूछे गजब मुझसे तो बांधे हाथ कह दूंगा खुदा पूछे गजब मुझसे तो बांधे हाथ कह दूंगा जो देखा है वही लिखा कलम को शर से है रोका जमीर अपना नहीं बेचा जमीर अपना नहीं बेचा थैंक यू थैंक यू शमशन द लास्ट पोएट हु आई वॉन्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस इज अ पोएट हुज वर्क आई नेवर हर्ड बिफोर सो एम लुकिंग फॉर टू दिस अमाल इज अ स्पोकन वर्ड वे शी All right there. <laughs> Amal is a spoken word poet and a short story writer. She has performed in U um IIUM in Kuantan as well as in Gombak and the University of Malaya. She's done many open mic events under organizations such as Nose and Incubate and uh here's Nose um um presenter. Uh she came second at the Kerala Lampa Poetry Slam and was crowned champion at Madeka Kariya Festival. 2019 lots of champions in this room today and she um is doing finishing courses in creative writing and as a course mentor for creative writing the craft of plot and she's currently working on her first fiction novel all right very honored to introduce um so amal to all of us hello everyone um i want to thank mofaq so much for uh, contacting me last minute to join I'm so happy to be here. Um there's a lot of creative people in the room. And I'm a very nervous person so just put up with me. Okay, uh I'm going to be performing three uh poems. Uh the first one I didn't give it a name yet because it's still work in process. I am 33. I believe coffee is a sweet sin made for poets. My spirit animal will always be an otter. I could debate for hours that there's such a thing as a cusp. I was born on one. I am a big fan of Game of Thrones, but I think season finale was a disappointment. I have an accent in every language and I cannot pronounce the word astig as astigmatism correctly. I go to reading sessions and poetry slam competition just to have a space to breathe. I am a daughter. 
who cannot go back to the motherland anymore. I am foster homes, jumping from nation to nation. I am a sunken life raft at the bottom of the Mediterranean. I am too foreign to be Syrian, and too Syrian to fit in here. Yet every day at work I rise to your national anthem, while mine is fading away. Nagaraku, tana tumpanya daraku, raiyat hindu persatu dan maju. Baju kurung pinned to my skin as I speak my eology to this welcoming country. I spent endless hours to learn a language that does not even know how to pronounce me correctly. And I cannot tell you what death looks like, but I know for sure death loves my people. And I know bullets are more valuable than our lives. They have invented a thousand ways to stop a heart, a thousand ways to kill a revolution. When the jets dropped their crimson load, we saw burning stars falling from the sky. On every corner, an alley, and every stone we love. They set the citadel of Aleppo on fire. They defiled the Umayyad Mosque of Damascus with their boots. And the temple of Bel in, Mal in Balmera melted a week ago. Two bullets took more hope from my family. One penetrated my cousin's spine, teaching him to embrace his son with only his eyes. The second made a home out of my other cousin's skull, turning his eyes into gray. They mimic the haze of the smoke dancing across the sky. They were brothers. My family tree consists of people who bled for each other. And if you think dying is a tragic, try to keep on living. We are running, we are running, we are running. And you don't know compromise until you've rebuilt your home for the 10th time. We are still running, we are still running, we are still running. And war does not end when the guns stop shooting. I am still running, 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 just not from guns. Thank you. help but shaking. Um, my second poem, it's a little bit light. It's about dating, love, and my sexuality and identity. It's called Bravery. <clears throat> you will never be let down by anyone more than you will be let down by the one you love most in the world. This is how gravity works. This is why they call it falling. This is why the truth is harder to tell. Every year, you have more to lose, but you can choose to bury your past and fall in love again. Like you never le learned your lesson, and that is bravery. Bravery cannot be measured by a lack of fear. It takes guts to tremble. It takes so much tremble to love. Every first date is a fucking earthquake. Baby. On our first date, I showed off all my therapy. I flaunted the couch while I finally sweat out my history, showed you a photo from the last time I wore a lie to a friend wedding. I smiled and said, that was never my style. Look how long I kept my hair. Look at the slits I carved for my short temper. Look how my wrist is not something I have to hide. I said, well, I was hiding it. By our first date, I said, listen, I have a hard time. My life is a mess. I mean, I cry as often as most people pee, and I don't even shut the door behind me. I'll be up in your face screaming. Malaysia is too hot for me. Malaysia is too hard on me, and I miss hummus. <laughs> I want to get out of here. I got too drunk on our fifth date, on our fifth date. Can't live here, in my body I mean. I can't live in my body all the time, it feels too much. So if I ever feel far away, know that I am not gone. I am just underneath my grief, adjusting the dial on my radio face, on my radio face, so I can take this life with, with all of its love and all of its loss. See, I already know that you are the place where I am finally going to sing without any static. 
Meaning, I'm never gonna wait that extra 20 minutes to text you back. And I'm never gonna play hard to get when I know your life has been hard enough already. When we all know everyone's life has been hard enough already. It's hard to watch the game we make of love, like everyone's playing chess with their scars, saying checkmate, without they, they get out without broken heart. Just to be clear, I don't want to get out without a broken heart. I intend to live this life so shattered. There's gonna be, there's gonna have to be a thousand separated heavens for all my separated parts. Know that I will never say I love you till the very end when I feel it like a virus in my bloodstream. That is to say, I am not going to get a single speed bike if I cannot make it up the hill. I know exactly how many gears I'm gonna need to love you well. And God will finally say, congratulations. You are finally not full of bullshit. Honey, throw me. Throw me as far as I can go. I don't want to live this life without ever having come home. And I want to come home to you. I can figure out the hot, the hard, and make it hummus. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, recently, I attended a workshop in, uh, uh, in Penang for uh, uh, writers, women writers. And and uh, um, our mentor, uh, Malaysian writer Bernice um, Chawi, she, she asked us to write a personal monologue and uh, she said it must be something that really happened, something really touched you, something scary. So I wrote this. It's called The Mask is Jasmine. My dear reader, I am still scared of my mother's eyes. I can't see in, she can't see out. They are like gray stones, sea stones. Her laughter, her laughter was golden ones. Her hands were bridges of olives and bread. I don't tell her, I only dream of murder now. It's always me and the captor. I'm holding an iron rod and my hands are bleeding. I don't tell her that I still hide under my bed trying to tear off my ears on Chinese in New Year because the fireworks sound like the day humanity died. Dear reader, as I stand here before you today, my past is so present that I can feel my baby teeth. Back in 2011, we watched on the screen, on the screen our, our people getting killed. Seven generations tortured. They stole the ground beneath our feet. I tried to keep my mouth shut, but my tongue did not have any more rooms for scars in the shape of my teeth. So we hit the streets. Our voices split in the skies. And I have had enough bullets graze past my temple and not dying convinced me that miracles do exist. I held my faith, a lump of burning coal in my palm. And when I was body slammed at the square of our university, my bones shook the ground. I fell because gravity never lost the fight. And when I heard the click of the handcuffs, I, didn't, I did not realize what it was until my body and my biology convinced me to. See, my mind couldn't comprehend that I no longer had my freedom. A two by three meters prison cell was my witness to what a person, what a body can endure, where God slowly slipped away, hell was empty, and all the demons were in my cell. Let me tell you there's a pain beyond death, beyond imagination, beyond words. And there is a hunger I had to fight hard to hold on to everything, every good thing I ever was but I lost my fight to my new obsession with food, reciting the, the ingredients out loud. I cook it slowly, adding a little bit of salt, a pinch of cumin, marveling at the taste of my imaginary meal. And for a moment, I'd be in my mother's warm kitchen. Then I'd wake up and pray, please do not let me be hungry. In 2013, I became a foreigner, an immigrant, a shame what happened to her country, or go back to where you came from. What do you know where I came from? I come from a country that housed miracles and housed ancient proverbs and prophets and the streets were so cracked but I swear it's like you could hear the ancient stories with them. The land that gave birth to the first alphabet. But now Syria is a vast cemetery. A Damascus jasmine soaked with blood. 
where we don't pay grave diggers anymore, where the mother is ripped from daughter from son, where machine guns are sold in bookstores, where soldiers are loading a black hole into their jets and unloading it into the heart of our land. And our soil as red as the universe cream, bloodshed, bloodshed, please stop. And the names of our cities became equivalent to thousands of babies being buried, women being raped, as the sea swallowed all of our beautiful pearls. Where is a gray, where is a grief that never goes away, like the grief of my uncle undefying his children by their shoes. And you don't know Arabic to offer your condolences, but I know your language, I eat your food, I celebrate your holidays. Yet you mark me a stranger when language has never been spoken. It is the art of sharing the same air. It is felt, it is practiced with our eyes and our lungs. I don't read the warnings before I switch from one language to another. My tongue can go from Malaysia's hot weather to the Syrian desert. But how I am stranger when the words insan, akhlaq, adab are Arabic. And here I am screaming until my throat is raw. I am not my religion. I am not my skin color. I am not my passport or visa. I am the same broken heart that you are. I am the same flesh and blood that you are. I am a teacher, a daughter, a friend, and a lover. Only when you realize that, my reader, there will be a time when we can sit together, when we build homes out of abandoned tanks. Peace is a rusted recoil. Hate and war are fire. Bullets and earth cannot speak to each other. Blood will not make crops grow. There will be a time when my dreams are not scattered anymore and my nightmares are not too much anymore. There will be a time when my mother's eyes come back to life. There will be a time when I kneel for prayer and say, God, thank you for keeping me alive for the thousand times. Thank you so much. Thank you, Amal. Um, and so finally, we come full circle, and I'd like to ask Mafat to come back and read his final two poems for all of us. Um, and I'm going to leave the last word with him, so I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all the poets who have been here today, to say thank you also to um, Ilham and people who are not here, such as Mahi Ramakrishnan from Beyond Borders, um, people such as uh, Bernice, Pauline, who have uh, given uh, space for uh, poets in this country, as many, have many others as well. Um, so I'd like to invite Mafa to um, end our afternoon. Hello again. I think what uh, uh, Amal highlighted in her poetry uh, made me remember a story that I want to share with you. A very short thing. Uh, a few days ago, I saw a friend of mine on Facebook who's a Malaysian friend and who is uh, supposed to be uh, or, or known as a person who uh, supports the refugee issue and he's, an, he's working in an NGO and all this whatever and then um, she was sharing a post of her friend so her friend is, a, is someone that I don't know but I read there was a there was Syrians in the post so I was like whoa, whoa I want to know what what's what, what is it about and then the post of the friend took a screenshot from a Malaysian uh, newspapers kind of thing and there was a headline that Syrians uh, are um, leaving the north and uh, Malaysia is in danger or something like this. And I was like, what is this about? And it was talking about, if you've heard of, recently of, of the uh, Kurds, uh, ISIS and the US and everyone is uh, fighting in the north. So there was a new displacement uh, movement or something like this. So people were, were really leaving for the sake of life. And uh, so this newspaper uh, thought that, you know what, those people are leaving and those are ISIS in the first place because they are the uh, people who hosted ISIS. This is their argument, newspaper. 
So they say these are uh, ISIS and they're leaving the, the north of Syria and the, their only destination might be Malaysia. So they're coming here and we should stop giving visas to Syrians and all this. And I was really disappointed to read that, not from that person who wrote it uh, originally, but from that person who shared it. Because that shows zero logical thinking. And uh, it's just that you've met Syrians, you've worked with us, and you still share this post. So what a fight are we in and what a... What a what a, a dilemma to prove ourselves as human beings and that's, I don't know, I don't know what to say. I just remembered it now because Amal was so much powerful. I, I want to thank her always for, for this powerful poetry. Uh, yes, please. I, I, don't, I don't like to, to make it all about Syria and all this. Poetry was, was the key. But what I want to say is sometimes ignorance in Malaysia is so, it's just amazing it can amaze amaze you all the time you can see things that you don't even anyway i will uh, i will i will read two other poems in arabic uh, so that i'm not uh, boring and uh, one of them is uh, um, a love poem and the other one is about kl which i love um, so once i loved a woman who uh, loved uh, atlantis uh, and made me love the story uh, and believe in it since then. Um, I believe that every hidden beauty uh, is Atlantis. So here is Atlantis for her. Atlantis. لا تسعف اللغة القصائد والخلاخيل التي تزهو بها تتهسس. هل تدرك الصور الحقيقة؟ ربما لكن أصل الاقتراب الملمس والاستعارات التي لا تنتهي في وصف, في وصف أنثى لا محالة تيأس أتخيل العطر الذي يشتاحها وأضيع كالشعر الذي يتهجس والماء موسيقى إذا لثمته من فمها تفتح زنبق أو لوتس أو لوتس تتأنف الأشياء حين تخصها وتصير إن هامت بها تتنفس تحيي بها الأموات قبلتها أنا مذ قبلتني والشفاه هواجس لغتي رخام لغتي رخام حين يذكر جسمها من نهدها سحر القصيدة أقبس وإذا مررت على القصيدة دونها سأل القوافي والعروض النرجس من يكور إصبعها من يكور إصبعها الرموش المسكرة بعض التفاصيل التي أتوجس قمصانها الفطفاضة الستر الذي إن أسقطته تكشفت أطلنطس وإذا تكورت ابتسامة ثغرها أدنو إلى الثغر الذي لا يلمس أتحسس الخدين لحظة تستحي وأصير والشعر كوكينا وقلبي بائس وأصير أقرب من مساحة كتفها وإلى مسامعها أسر وأه مسو لا تسعف اللغة القصائد إنها تستلمس المعنى ولا تتلمس لا شك أن الشعر يكذب إنما ما أكذب الشعر الذي لا يولس The last poem of today is a uh, night scene in KL. And this poem was written uh, after um, a walk with a, with a friend who is uh, one of my best friends in this country and who happens to be an Iranian. Uh, yeah. And um, we were, we were, <laughs> we were, <laughs> I mean, yeah.
we were in the one of the back alleys of KL, the places that we go and hang around, and uh, where people actually uh, some of the alleys that uh, uh, Malaysian or m most people don't really notice in general those uh, alleys where people sleep naked on streets, where people have lost their desire to fight and even lost the desire for asking for help. And I was staring at this young man who was uh, reading Quran, uh, a specific verse actually about paradise. It was very ironic for me, and the, uh, he, was, he was reading about the ultimate happy life, uh, reciting it in a very nice way. He, he made me couldn't stop thinking of, of the irony. It's, it's good that, uh, it's good sometimes to be a believer, you know, uh, because you still have hope somehow. I don't have it though. Uh, it's not about Quran then, um, it's not about uh, this guy, it's about faith and it's about KL. Um, on that miserable street uh, where none bothered to look at him. So I, I just wake up sometimes in, in the middle of the night and look from the balcony and I have a very nice view. I can see Ilham Gallery from my balcony. So. I see all these buildings and I, I, just, I just feel that at night they're different than what we see in the morning. Uh, they're like monsters and they send their lights everywhere and they hit me in the face. And that's why I wrote a night scene in KL. Mashhadun Layli fi Kuala Lumpur. ضوء اليوم متكئا إلى قلبي وقد أمسكت دفتر ذكريات البارحة وبدأت أقفز بينها وأعد تلك الذكريات الجارحة الأصدقاء الأصدقاء خراف تخت الغربة الواسع ووجوههم خدر لذيذ دون ما الواقع سأعد كل وجوههم حتى يساورني النعاس ويختفي صوت الأرق لابد أن الذكريات قصائد المحروم والليل الورق أبراج هذا العالم المبني من عرق العبيد تبث فيه الضوء في كل اتجاه والضوء يبحث عن خفافيش ويضرب كل ثانيتين وجها نافذة فيضيء أصحابي على الجدران أخيلة ظلال والجرح ثبت في الخيال ركائزة وهناك في قلب المدينة سائح يمشي ويحمل دفترا مستذكرا No, this is not correct. No, before that. I'm sorry, but before that. Yeah. So we're at right there behind the tourist. وهناك خلف وهناك في قلب المدينة سائح يمشي ويحمل دفترا مستذكرا أهليه إذ مروا هنا حيث استباح الأمكنة. لكنه ما عاد بعد اليوم سفاحا ولكن صار سواحا ولأجل ولكن صار سواحا لأجل الأرض والإنسان وهناك خلف السائح المشغول بالتصوير والتفسير والإدلاء بالآراء رجل يبيع العمر للغرباء رجل يبيع العمر للغرباء للناس الذين سيعبرون ويعبرون ولا أراهم يأبهون بشأنه وبابنه وهناك مهموم حزين يقرأ القرآن يشحد من جموع الخارجين من المراقص منتشين ويقول ما معناه جنات وتجري تحتها الأنهار حيث نكون فيها خالدين الله هذه المدينة لا تحب النائمين المحتمين بثوبها لكنها ترتاح أكثر للضيوف الراحلين ويمر ضمن الليل ليل والشوارع تحت 
تكتفي بهبائها وينام كل العاشقين على وسائد شوقهم وتضش أركان السرير على أحاديث الأرق وأنا ألوح للرفاق وللحكاية والطرق Thank you so much Thank you so much. I'd like to invite the poets back onto the stage for us to thank, thank them one more time. Um, Amal, um, um, Chamshad, uh, Masuma, Abdul Salam, and Jack. Thank you so much. A round of applause, please, for these marvelous poets.